why someone hasn't picked me up for my own travel show, I will never know. Do you guys not want to make money? Seriously. I am a bit nuts. So right now, it's nice and early in the morning. I'm going to go to another city, but I'm not going to take a taxi or something normal like that. I'm going to take the local train. No, there's no first class in this train. There's no second class in this train. There is only third class. So this is going to be quite the experience. I'm actually really excited about it, to be completely honest. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The locals are looking at me like I'm absolutely crazy. But it's an hour's train drive and it's through the coast. So I thought it would be quite beautiful. So I am super excited and it's going to be fun to explore another city. I just really hope it doesn't rain. So this is the town of Gal or Gale. Um, everybody pronounces it different. It is the quaintest, cutest little town. You would swear you were in Europe. This is the old Dutch town. This is the, actually the Dutch hospital. It is gorgeous and so cute. Not, not much is open yet because I am here quite early. Um, but I am looking forward to this day of exploring. my video was going to work this way around but unfortunately I think it's too bright so I think it would be beautiful if you could actually see but it is really bright so I'm going to have to turn around yeah that's probably a bit better hang on okay cool so anyways the bus bus trip the train trip wasn't as expected it was so easy so you know it wasn't bad at all it's very plain and simple and slow um, I wouldn't say it was clean because it wasn't clean, but it wasn't like filthy where you're like, oh my word, I don't want to put, I don't want to touch anything. Yes, I got a few funny looks, but that's to be expected. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you're a girl traveling alone, people look at you funny. I had one or two creepy people, but as I said, it doesn't really matter where you are in the world. They are always creepy people. Um, but I'm very, very glad I went to this town. It is so cute. So most people go to the town to see the old forts. Now it's a flippant old fort that could be anywhere in the world, in all honesty. I mean, it, to me, it wasn't very impressive whatsoever. What impressed me was this little town. It was like being in a little European town. It was so quaint and cute. It had all these lovely little shoppies and I walked around for hours. Okay, yes, because my train back was only much later. That's the one thing is I knew if I took the train, I was stuck there. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss my train. Now there was only one, there were two trains back, but the one was only this evening and I really didn't want to do that. And the other train, um, no one actually knew what train I should take. It was so bad. But I had looked on the internet and done my research and thankfully I did and I did get on the right train. The last thing I wanted was a train to the middle of bloody nowhere and how on earth would I get back. So yeah, so it actually worked out perfectly fine. It was really cute. The school came out as on, and they were on the same train as me. And these little girls were trying so hard, because they couldn't speak a word of English, but they were trying so hard to make sure I was on the right train. They were phoning and they were just absolutely gorgeous and they just absolutely adored me. Um, yeah, but unfortunately once they left, then there were just like creepy people on the train. I was like, dudes, there are seats everywhere. Why do you have to come sit next to me? But uh, I couldn't care less. But it was another awesome day and I thoroughly enjoyed myself.